talk about what happens when you take two surfaces and you join them together. So we're just going to start with something really basic. Now you may notice, Chris and I don't have a laboratory, you're in my house. So, so we just pulled some things off the shelf, literally, for this demo. So we're just going to join these two books like this, except we did it already here. Now, do you think we can pull these apart? I think we can give it a try. Okay. Ah! Oh my goodness, he's pulling me across the floor. So our first question is, what force do you think is responsible for making it really hard to pull these two books apart? Yeah. So what force? A, is it gravity? B, friction. Tension? or magnetic. Which force is responsible for keeping these two stuck together? Great job guys. Yes, it is the force of friction. And so when two surfaces come in contact with each other, we often have a frictional force between those two. And in our experience, people always talk about friction in a negative light, it's trying to eliminate it, reduce it, it messes up your experiment. But today we want to have a little fun with it. As I mentioned, one of my favorite toys is this little car, and it's battery operated, as you can see, and I like it so much that I brought two of them. Now, let's see how they compare when we have a race. Oh boy, they didn't want to go, Diane. Let they go! Go! Oh! I, I hope you saw that they stayed together, that they're almost identical in their speeds. Now, we're going to try something else with friction. I've got an empty tube here that we'll place between the cars, and the only reason for that is we don't want the cars climbing over each other. The reason for this setup is we're going to have a push of war, not a tug of war, but a push of war between the cars. Now, the question is, will one of the cars win, or will it be... A stale. Hey, hey that's look, 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 the question is, when we turn the cars on and we know that they're balanced, what will happen when I put the ball in one of the cars? Well, let's give it a try. Whoa! 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 That's so good! That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. So, our next question to you is, what causes the car with the ball in it to win? Because obviously the car with the ball in it won the battle each time. Is it A, it now has more energy? B, it pushes harder on the table and creates more friction. C, it has less friction. D, it changes its mass. We'll give you a second to think about that one. Hmm. Why did that car win? Ah. Oh, we have some we have some good answers, Diane. Everybody's saying B, Chris. Huh. It pushes harder on the table and creates more friction, but wouldn't more friction slow it down? Not in this case. It actually helps it push off the table. So it's like in a tug of war. It's the team that pushes off the ground the hardest. This just happens to be a push of war. Very nice. Nice job. That's a really nice one. Okay. So friction increases when two surfaces are pushed harder together. Is that what we're saying? That's what we're saying. So try this. So take your hands and just lightly rub them together. And if you listen, maybe you can hear the friction. Oh yeah, I can hear it. Can you hear it? Oh yeah. Now what if you pushed them even harder together? <clears throat> Did the same thing. Can you hear? It gets louder, right? 
There's more friction in that. But Diane, there's something else going on there. What? My hands are getting warmer. Shut up. Shut up. They are. Shut the front door. We are getting heat. So friction often creates heat. Matter of fact, that's why most mechanical things have fans in them to get some of that heat out of there or they just melt. So... Do you have something that illustrates that, Diane? If only we could come up with a way to show that friction creates heat. Well, I think I have something. I was making a smoothie the other day. And, uh, you know, we don't have superconductors or liquid nitrogen, but we have water in smoothies. So this is just some water in my, smoo in my smoothie thing. And let's just take the temperature of our water right now. So. Uh, 22.1 Celsius. Okay, so right now the water temperature is 22.1 Celsius. I'm going to let the blades beat up the water a little bit, cause a little friction for about 30 seconds. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> All right, that should be good. We've had a little issue here. We can't remember what the original temperature was. Can somebody put it in the chat? Help us, please. Help us. What was the original temperature? Oh, my God. Well, we're, we're at 24.2. I think it was 22.4. I believe it was 22, and now it's jumped up to 24. So just 30 seconds in the smoothie. No heat here, okay? This didn't warm it. It's not, this, this machine's not hot at all. We were able to raise the temperature of the water, okay? Two, two degrees. Two degrees, just using friction. Wow. Oh boy, here's, here's the question now. Since, <coughs> since friction caused the water to increase in temperature, we're wondering if it's possible to even boil water if we have enough friction. So over here, I've got a copper tube <coughs> in, mounted in a board, that's all. Now give us a second, I'm going to move the camera. And I'm going to put a little water in the tube. Not much. Okay, we're gonna wait. Wait. Oh, we just lost. There we go. There we go. Okay, hold on. Moving the camera. Okay, I'm gonna put some water in the tube. Oh, Chris, I just wanna get a little bit closer to you here. Okay, I've just put water in the tube. And I've just got a nylon rope, and I'm going to wrap it around the tube. Okay, now you've got to watch carefully here, folks. Now, this may take a while, so you may want to go get a drink or go to the bathroom. <laughs> Not that long. Not, no, it doesn't take that long. Come on, Chris. I'm working. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Now, you know, Diane... We may need a little help from our audience. Yes. So, along with us, would you please say, boil, 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 boil. Oh, 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 boil. Is, is, come on, come on. Come on, baby. Move the whole table. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. We're taking the table into the other room. <laughs> oh, there it goes! Oh, there it goes! Oh, there it goes! Oh, 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 oh. Well, that is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Okay, so we didn't know if that would work or not. Obviously, we're very pleased that it did. So we've seen that friction is a helpful thing. It helps us move. And also, a byproduct of friction is heat. So... We really appreciate you inviting us. We've had a great time. Thank you very much.